is it better to go with a personal instructor if you have the opportunity? Always. Yeah, if you can find a personal instructor, that's really good. And people have different learning styles, too. So okay. there's some people that they really flourish just in a one-on-one -on -one, um, with the individual attention. I, I know I did. Um, there's other folks out there that it really benefits them to have a buddy, somebody next to them learning sure. because sure. they can realize, oh, man, I'm not, you know, I'm not the only one that's unskilled here. I'm not okay. in this boat by myself. So okay. some bands will do like a group lesson, too, or you okay. could go to a, go to a band where workshop. Um, that's the other thing is if somebody's really serious about learning, especially piping, mm -hmm. to really immerse yourself going to a workshop, going to anything that goes on here in the States, uh, USPA, the Eastern United States Bagpipe Band Association, okay. has workshops, they have information on competitions and Highland games, that's a great place to check out. Uh, there's a lot of piping schools. The one that I went to uh, is down in Winchester, Virginia, so the staff from the National Piping Center comes over teaches uh, everybody there for a week and wow. man what you learn in a week there mm -hmm. is is really really massive compared to what you're so learning it's, it's by yourself huh? yeah okay. exactly okay. so you just want to go into that week like a sponge and just absorb <laughs> all the information that you can okay. yeah absolutely. That, really, that gets to what you were saying earlier though that bagpiping really is a whole community yeah of itself absolutely I mean, yeah um, are there any pitfalls to getting into that community or is there is it easy to just kind of break in and I'm thinking more like young adults yeah, um, and sure. stuff now, not so much the little kids who are obviously sure. going to have more of a controlled environment but like right. if you're like a college kid mm -hmm. or an adult um, this, I mean yeah. Are there things you have to watch out? I mean, how could I tell a bad instructor or a bad scene if I've never been in it Right. Before? Yeah, that's something that's difficult. Um, here's what I'll say is that for the most part, when you're getting into this and you're brand new and you're fresh, mm -hmm. um, it's something that most of the time, 99% of the time, that band is going to be psyched that you want to learn okay. how to play an instrument and participate. So oh, okay. most of the time, as long as you're willing to put out the effort, mm -hmm. um, that's what's going to make a difference and if you find yourself trying to put out more effort than the band actively takes to improve themselves oh, okay. you may find yourself thinking okay. well I may want to go to a different band and try something different okay. or I may want to try some other type of instruction so so you just kind of keep your eyes open and get a sense for what the culture yeah. of the band mm -hmm. is like mm -hmm. Okay. And when it okay. comes and when it comes to bands as well, uh, like I said before, it's really cool because there's so many people that would have never crossed paths otherwise, right. except for bagpipes. So that transcends a lot of it too. That oh, you know, I didn't know you were a pharmaceutical patent attorney. Cool, you know, <laughs> <laughs> interested in <laughs> interested right. in bagpipes. Right. So you never know who you'll who you'll run into and who's got the, sh uh, the same interest as you in uh, in pipes and, and cool. the uh, the music. Yeah.